Hey guys, it's XZap here again, and welcome back to another um, high pixel skyblock tutorial video. Uh, today's gonna be more of a simple and quick one. Um, this is something. Well, basically, it's about the uh, the way the auction house works here on um, high pixel skyblock. I I did a poll asking if people would find it useful, and about 80% of people said they would find it useful. Um, so yeah, uh, this is for you guys. So obviously you're going to go to your nether star, you're going to go to the hub island, and right over here to the right is going to be the auction house. Um, and so this is the auction house NPC. So um, I guess what I should talk about first here is I'm um, just looking at all the auctions. So if I go um, if I go back here and I hit auctions browser, which is this gold block, it comes up with all the different things that are being sold here, and it 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 um by default it set it sorts it by the highest bid um, you can change what you want to be sorted by and stuff and you can also search for certain things there's also different categories here on the side so if I wanted a new sword I could um, click the sword here and then look through here or say I wanted uh, some blocks I could click the blocks category and I can look here or I can also search for a specific block oh and you can also filter by like item tier so say I only want are there even any? Yeah, okay. Let's just go. What's the highest one? Okay, rare is the highest one. Say I want some rare blocks for <laughs> it just uh, for some reason I want them to be rare. Uh, there you go. Oh, and say I want them to be ending soon. I want the ones that are ending soon. There you go. So yeah, that's how you find stuff um, to buy. The way that I usually like say say I want to buy something. Um, say I'm looking for a um, a book, an enchanted book with. Um, I don't know, sh uh, sharpness five. So what I usually like to do is I'll go to, I'll sort by ending soon, and then I'll look through here and I'll see when is the soonest that, um, like when the soonest book with that enchantment is gonna be ending. So I saw it, so yeah, here we go. So sharpness five is on this book. It's ending, as you can see down there in 22 minutes, well, 22 and a half minutes. Um, so what I'll do is I'll usually just take a note of that and then I'll usually wait until closer to when it's gonna end to um, bid on it just because you kind of get a little bit of an element of surprise though although you do have to be careful with this because the way it works is in the last five minutes of it being on the auction house it'll disappear off this browser thing so you can see this um, book right here has five and a half minutes left so in 30 seconds it's gonna disappear off the auction house browser and I suppose the reason they do that is so people don't like you know try to snipe it right at the end right before it um is gonna be sold but let me just show you guys proof of that right now I'm gonna let the timer run out and I'll come back in a second alright so as you see we they hit the five minute mark but it still shows on here for me that the reason for that is because I still have the GUI open if I were to close it open it back up go to consumables and search by ending soon again as you can see that book is now gone and I can I'll show you guys again here this book is about to pass the limit it has for efficiency 5 first strike 4 and efficiency 5 um, I didn't keep track of the enchantments on the last one so this will be a better test so now it's um, under five minutes let me close it open it back up consumables ending soon and as you can see this is a different book now there is there is one way to be able to see um, what like auctions when they are under five minutes and that the only way that that happens is if you have already bid on it so even even if you place a bid on it even if you've been outbid since then you'll be able to go here to view bids and you can see it all the way up until when it gets sold and if you get outbid on an item it will alert you in chat as well and to be able to place a bid on an item you do have to have the coins in your purse so they can't be in your bank and another thing is if you place a bid on an item if you go to your view bids and say you're having a bidding war with someone, if you place a bid on an item and the timer is under two minutes left, it will reset the timer back up to two minutes so that other person has a chance to outbid you if that's what they want to do. So Hypixel has taken a lot of precautions against people sniping at last minute. It's really impossible to do that. Okay, and so as far as selling your own stuff here on the auction house, uh, let me go grab something I can just, I'll just list real quick. Let's see here. What do... What what things of value do I have? Uh, I could sell this prop. Five. Yeah, I'll sell this prop five book. 
Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'll head back over here to the auction house, open up the GUI, hit create auction, it's here on the right. And then so you're gonna click the item that you wanna sell, puts it up there. And then here is where you pick the starting bid and the duration. So I only want this to last for two hours. The longer you make it last, by the way, there are um, fees for um, for yeah yeah for creating it. And the longer it is, the the higher the fee is going to be, obviously. Um, also, you can set the starting bid here. Um, you can all like depending on what you set as the starting bid. There's also fees for that. The higher it is, the more you're going to be paying again. So let me, yeah, so I made this two hours, so let me set the starting bid. Uh, I can probably get at least 3,000 for this, so I'll set it for 3,000. And then you just hit create auction, it tells me how much my fee is going to be. And then it takes the fee out of my account, and yeah, I'll just hit create auction. Confirm. And there we go, it's created. If I hit close and open it back up, you can see here, manage auctions, you own one auction. And you can click that and see your own auction there. You can keep track of people are bidding on it. It also tells you in chat if um, people bid on your book. And let me just go to the actual auction house here. So consumables and search by. Uh, yeah, probably just ending soon. I'll go over to where, let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna go back. Okay, so it's gonna be around here. I'll back this way. No, is it this one? Yep, here it is. So there's my Prop 5 book listed as a starting bit of 3,000 and there's two hours left on it. I honestly probably should have started at less, but whatever, I don't really care if it doesn't sell. It's just kind of an extra thing I have lying around that I could list. So um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video there. I'm pretty sure I covered everything. Best of luck to you and your auction house endeavors. Uh, yeah, so if you guys did find this video um, useful, or you enjoyed please leave a like consider subscribing and uh, leave some ideas for tutorials you'd like to see in the future I'm always looking for new ideas and um, yeah so thank you for watching and I will see you all next time peace